Hello everyone, welcome to the pillars. So uh, this has been a long gap and uh, I had my mid -sem going on and uh, that I was a little busy in my PhD work. So uh, sorry for that. Okay, so let's resume our class. Till now, what we have studied, let's uh, have a quick recap of that. First, I told you how to find out the particular integral and complementary function. Then we saw uh, Cauchy-Euler's uh, differential equation in which we were converting the linear ordinary differential equations with the variable coefficients. But that can be converted to the uh, differential equations which has uh, constant coefficients by taking some assumption or by taking x is equal to e to the power t. Right. Then, uh, I told you about Abel's theorem and uh, I uh, told you about the coupled differential equations or coupled equations with simultaneous uh, dif differential equation and uh, told you to uh, check out the problems based on that on my channel. Okay, so that's it and now we are starting a new chapter for which uh, uh, the series solutions are needed. So uh, here we are considering the uh, second order linear ordinary differential equations, but they have uh, variable coefficients, right? Uh, in cauchy euler differential equation also we uh, took this kind of equation, but remember in that case the power of the coefficient and the order of the differentiation, there is the multiplication of these two, the power and the order should be equal. Like we are taking x x square into d2y by dx square. Okay, but here the coefficients can be any function of x. For that, we will find out the general solution. And why we have need this series solution? Remember, for this kind of differential equations, uh, let me just write down first. So the general form of this uh, kind of differential equations are a2 of x d2y dx square plus a1 x dy by dx plus a0 of x y is equal to 0. This is the general form of this kind of differential equations. Now see this a2 of x can be anything any function of x, similarly a1 of x and a0 of x. Now why we cannot find the series solution, remember all the previous cases which uh, we did all the things, we can find out the solution in terms of known functions like exponential, like uh, e to the power mx or uh, cos mx or sin mx or in case of cauchy euler differential equation, uh, there was an term x to the power m like this. These are known functions. So in those cases, we are able to uh, find out the solution in these terms. But here, we cannot find the solutions in these terms. That's why we take series solution. Now, what is the series solution? The solution of this kind of uh, differential equations will be uh, in form of infinite convergent series of functions. Okay, so uh, we are calling it infinite convergent series. Why infinite? Infinite means the number of terms in this solution will be infinite. And what is this convergent? This means sum of the series, some of this infinite series will be finite value. Then we call it convergent. Right. So this is the theme. Now uh, in, in today's lecture specifically, we will be talking about the ordinary points and singular points for this kind of differential equations. Okay. Then after that, we will be able to uh, know in which cases we will uh, use this uh, power series solution and in which cases we will we, we are going to use this Frobenius method. Okay, so let's uh, see some examples and uh, so first uh, uh, formulate this in general case. Then uh, we will see some examples. 
so uh, the first point is if uh, a2 of a is not equal to 0 that is we will put x is equal to a after that if this doesn't become 0 then x is equal to a is an ordinary point is an ordinary point right and uh, for these ordinary points uh, the uh, general form of the solution will be y is equal to summation over k ck x minus a whole power k this will be the general form of the solution for ordinary point so this is an infinite series remember k from 0 to uh, n uh, or infinite so, uh, for that uh, we will get different terms right then take uh, the next case now if a2 of a becomes 0 then x is equal to a is a singular point singular point now this singular point is of two types this singular point is of two types one is regular singular point singular point and second one is irregular singular point right so for which case we will uh, call these points as irregular and for which case we will call this as irregular let's see that so in second point i am taking subsection a uh, sorry not a i if remember this is the first case this, this is the first case this is the second case so i will be talking about two sections here in both cases this must be satisfied after that if x minus a multiplied with a1 of x divided by a2 of x at x is equal to a and uh, let, let's just remove this one and x minus a whole square a naught of x divided by a2 of x both are defined both are defined at x is equal to a so uh, if these two terms are defined and are not infinite uh, at this point at this regular point uh, sorry at this singular point then this is called regular singular point okay in the second case second case is if both the terms uh, sorry i am just forgetting one thing so in uh, in case of this uh, regular singular point the solutions is written as x minus a whole power m summation over k c k x minus a whole power k so here the solution here we are taking k can be anything but here for some specific values of m the uh, the solution will be series solution we will see what is this m how we can find this we will see in later lectures don't worry about that just remember in case of regular singular point you have to take this form of series solution so you can write down y is equal to summation over k uh, c k c k x minus a whole power k plus m this is the general form right 
and the second case uh, let me just write it down here so when uh, a to at x is equal to a is 0 but both the terms are not defined remember x minus a into a1 divided by a2 I am just omitting bracket x and x minus a whole square a naught divided by a2 are not defined are not defined then x is equal to a is an irregular singular point and remember for this irregular singular point the series solution uh, doesn't exist so for this series solution is not guaranteed guaranteed I think this spelling is right I am not sure just ignore that so for irregular singular point the series solution is not guaranteed so let me just uh, review all these things so here we ha have this general form of a second order linear ordinary differential equation with variable coefficients in case of quasi unit differential equation also you have variable coefficients but remember in that case the uh, power of x here and the order of this differentiation are same and here also okay so we by taking some assumptions we can convert that into constant coefficient kind of differential equation but here we cannot do that okay and uh, uh, we cannot find the solution of this kind of differential equations in terms of known functions like exponential or cosine or sine or x power uh, m uh, something like that that's why we are taking the series solutions right and uh, we will take the uh, series solution as infinite convergent series that means the number of terms are infinite but the sum of that series gives you finite value that is the meaning of infinite convergent series and uh, uh, the first case we see here the for ordinary point at x is equal to a this coefficient should not be zero then we can write down the series solution as y is equal to summation of k ck x minus a whole power k right then uh, we take if a to at x is equal to a is zero then this is called a singular point Again, the singular point is of two types. One is regular singular point and uh, another is irregular singular point. Whenever these two terms are, are defined at the specific singular point, then this is called regular singular point. And for the regular singular point, the linear independent solution uh, will be valid for specific values of m. We will see this uh, importance of this m in later lectures. Don't worry about that. And the series solution we write as y is equal to summation over k c k x minus a whole power k plus m. And whenever these two terms are not defined at x is equal to a, then this point is called irregular singular point. And for irregular singular point, the series solution doesn't exist or is not guaranteed. That's all. And let's take an example here so that uh, your concept will be clear. So the example is example. So the example is written as x cube into x square minus one d two y by d x square minus x into x plus one dy by dx minus x minus 1 y is equal to 0 so this is the differential equation given so now uh, you must be wondering 
that uh, where is the points how to find out if this is uh, this point is regular or this point is irregular or this is ordinary point so let me tell you i told you one thing that for x is equal to a this term must be zero so from this equation also we can find out the uh, points right so uh, here let's take this uh, equal to zero let's take so uh, a2 of x is x cube x square minus 1 is equal to 0. From this we can find out that there are three points. One is 0, one is plus 1, one is minus 1. Right. And uh, let's check one by one. Let's take uh, first x is equal to 0. Okay. So if x is equal to 0, uh, we have to find out x into a1 that is uh, minus x into minus x square x plus 1 divided by a2 of x that is x cube x square minus 1. Just uh, go with me. Okay. So x square x cube will be cancelled. 1. 1x one will be there. And here x square minus 1. So uh, this can be divided into x plus 1 into x minus 1. 1x one plus 1 will be cancelled. So we will be uh, left to it minus 1 divided by x into x minus 1. Now put x is equal to 0. If you put x is equal to 0 here, then you will get infinite. Am I right? Okay. So then uh, you have to take uh, another one that is x minus a whole square a naught by a2. So here uh, minus here x minus 1 in, into x minus a whole square that is x minus 0 whole square. So this gives you again x square and uh, uh, divided by a2x that is x cube x square minus 1. Similarly, x square with the x cube will be cancelled, 1x will be there, and here we will be left with minus 1 by x into x plus 1. This also gives you infinite. So here you saw that x minus a into a1 by a2 at x is equal to 0 is infinite. And x minus a, if you are confused, let me tell you this one is uh, sorry. This one is x minus a into a whole square a naught by a1 and this one is x minus a a1 by a2. Okay, so uh, if you are confused, I have written this term. From this equation, I am finding this and finally putting x is equal to 0. The here x is equal to 0. So a in place of a we have to put 0. Okay. Now uh, let's go to uh, another point that is x is equal to 1. So here when we are taking x is equal to 1, uh, similar thing let's uh, repeat. So what we have to do is uh, x minus 1 that is x minus a into uh, this one minus x plus 1 into x divided by uh, this one x cube x square minus 1 so here x plus 1 into x minus 1 this, this gives you x square minus 1 so this will be cancelled and we are left with minus 1 by x square at x is equal to 1 this will be minus 1 so this is defined then again we have to take uh, x minus a whole square a0 by a2. This will be x minus 1 whole square and uh, uh, a0 is this one minus x minus 1. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, uh, this is right, yeah. Then x cube x square minus 1. Right, uh, yeah. So uh, 1 will be cancelled, this will be x plus 1, so we are left with minus x minus 1 whole square divided by 
x cube x plus 1 and this at uh, uh, x is equal to 1 will be 0. So this is not infinite. So this is also defined. From this two we can call x is equal to 1 is a regular singular point. And here similarly you can say x is equal to 0. So this x is equal to 0 is irregular singular point. Similarly, uh, let's check for x is equal to minus 1. x is equal to minus 1. In case of x is equal to minus 1, we have to write down x minus a. So this becomes x plus 1. And uh, this one minus square x divided by x cube x square minus 1. So x plus 1, 1 x plus 1 will be cancelled. So we will be left with minus x plus 1 divided by x square x uh, minus 1. And if we put minus 1, this will be 0. So this is defined, right? And again, x minus 1 whole square a naught by a2. This will give you x plus 1 whole square into minus here x minus 1 divided by uh, x cube x square minus 1. So 1 x plus 1 and here x minus 1 will be cancelled. We will be left with minus x plus 1 divided by x cube. So uh, finally we will get if we put x is equal to minus 1 this will be 0. So this is also defined. We can write down x minus 1 is a regular singular point. So here we found uh, first we uh, found the uh, singular points by equating this uh, coefficient into a is equal to 0 and after that we used that uh, condition in which cases x minus a a1 by a2 and x minus a whole square a0 by a2 are defined and for which case this is not defined. So we saw for x is equal to 0 this is not defined and for x is equal to plus or minus 1 these are defined. So we can say x is equal to plus or minus 1 are singular uh, are regular singular points and for x is equal to 0 is irregular singular point. So for this one we cannot find the series solution and for these two cases we will be able to find the series solution. Okay. So uh, just take this example and if you find some uh, this kind of equations just take it and find out the singular or ordinary points right uh, try this example also again so that your mathematics will be right because if we uh, miss one plus and minus sign here then the whole mathematics uh, will be uh, wrong okay so just practice practice this example and in the next lecture we will see the how for which cases we are finding this power series solution and for which cases we will be applying the Frobenius method. Okay, so uh, for uh, this class uh, that's it and see you in the next lecture. Bye bye.